What's good YouTube? Welcome back to Show You How and guys today I'll be showing you how to connect your PS4 controller to your PC with DS4 Windows in 2019. So the first thing you're going to want to need is your PS4 controller of course and you need your, US, your USB for your PS4 controller. And once you have those two, you also need the DS4 window. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this link in the description below so you can go ahead and download it because you need that because that's what this video is about. So once you have that downloaded, it's totally free so you can go ahead and download it. Once you have it downloaded, all you need to do is open the application that you're trying to um that you're trying to use the PS4 controller with. So I'm going to go to my application, which I'm going to use Dishonored. So go ahead and open the application. And this is the cracked version of Dishonored. So you can use either the cracked version or you can either use um, the Steam version. But I think Steam has the option for you to use the PS4 controller without using DS4 Windows. I think so. So you just want to let it load up. Let's see if I can skip this. Just let it load up. And I'm not going to skip anything because I don't want you guys to think that this tutorial is fake or something. So I'm just going to leave. I'm not going to skip anything or cut anything out of this video and just let it load it doesn't matter any game so once you're on your screen if you have the crack version all you have to do is um press Control alt tab and this will close it out it will not end the app but it will just close it out so you can go to the home screen see it's still you see it's still on here it just closed out so once you're back on this screen what you need to do is go ahead and open the ds4 windows application all right so once you're on here now what you need to do, go ahead and plug your um, USB cable in your PS, your um, laptop or PC, whatever. And then you want to plug your PS4 controller up now. And just wait. And if you get a light like that, if you get a yellow light, that means what you need to do is enable your... Um, you need to enable the PS4 controller on your device manager. So go ahead on this the search bar right here. Let's zoom in. Go on the search bar and type in device manager. And then open it up and just wait till it opens all right so once you're on here you need to find the you need to find the HD compliant consumer the HD gleam controller so do that and press enable device and click yes and you see if I go back to the DS4 windows you see my controller it's like a it's like um purplish pink or something like that but it doesn't matter what color it is, just as long as the color. It doesn't matter. It should work either way, no matter the color. All right, so once you have that, all you have to do is go back to your game right now. Open the game. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit. All right. And you see we're on the game. Actually, I'm going to continue and show you guys that the controls work on it. And it's not the control. All the controls are correct on here. So you won't have to like um, go custom by custom and design the controls and stuff like that. So they're basically all right. They're just based on the um, Xbox controller, but they're still the same. All right. So look, you see. And guys, I'm I'm running this game on Intel HD 3000, and it usually doesn't lag, but it lags like when you first load it up. So you see. See everything's working right. You see. It's like that. You see. So yeah, guys, this is basically the end of this video. Go ahead and drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure you turn on that notification bell to get notified for every upload on my channel. And guys, yep, yeah, that's pretty much it. And we'll be back to show you how.